The first point of call by comrade Philip Shaibu was the residence of Ufwa family where he hosted the children, family members, friends and invited guests to a lavish reception in honor of their deceased mother. After paying his respect at the Ufwa family's gathering, comrade Shaibu proceeded to join Chief Arthur Esene, a former PDP 2024 governorship aspirant at Obedu Primary School, Uromi, for his father's funeral. <laughs> My wish is that they keep the name of our father that have gone, keep it by uh, imbibing all those disciplinary uh, virtues that he has impacted in them. I'm, I'm aware that he was a disciplinarian and he said, I always tell me, my dad, very, very tough. So it is not to show that toughness, but what is key, they must immortalize him to the extent that those things that he loved most, especially philanthropism, they should keep it up. It was a gathering of dignitaries from all walks of life, as the deputy governor's presence served as a symbol of solidarity, love and respect for the Isan community. On his journey back to Benin, Comrade Shaibu encountered a mammoth crowd of APC supporters who chanted solidarity songs amidst celebration and appreciation for the Edo State No. 2 citizen. The deputy governor also made a brief stop at the popular Ekboma market where he was surrounded by a group of traders and passers-by which attracted the generosity of the deputy governor to a nursing mother in their midst. <laughs> Comrade Shaibu was accompanied on the visit by a former PDP 2024 governorship aspirant, Barrister Anser Mujezwa, political aides and supporters. Ameze Bazwaye, ITV News.